Hello everyone, this is a video on relationship and representation. So data can be represented in tables or graphs or information. So here in this question, we are going to look at a table, how we can represent information in a table. So we're going to look at a work example to explain this concept. Right, our example says, Wando is a medical representative. He earns a basic salary of 2,500 plus 1,200 commission for every new client he signs up. And then the first question says, how much does Wando earn if he doesn't sign up any new client? They said he earns a salary of 2,500, a basic salary, meaning that he gets that before he can sign up anyone. So the first answer for 13.1 is 2,500, right? 13.2 says, determine the missing values of the table. So when you look at the table here, the top part is number of clients, and then the bottom part is the total salary end. So if he, he gets no client, how much will he get? If he gets one client, how much will he get? If he gets two clients, he get 4,900, 4, he'll be paid that. So how do we calculate A? A is when he gets no client. So your A is equals to, if he has no client, he'll get 2,500. Now, what is the amount for B? For B, he will get this 2,500, that, that's his basic salary. Plus, because he, get, he got one client, he'll get 1,200. So the total amount that you, you will get at B, you'll get 3,700. C is the basic salary of 2,500 plus when he gets four clients. So it's four clients multiplied by 1,200 because he gets 1,200 for one client. So for four clients, we need to multiply the 1,200 by four. And then how much will you get? 2,500 for basic salary plus four times 1,200. It becomes, he will earn 7,300. Okay, let's look at the next question. Now with 13.3.1, they say, determine the following, the dependent variable. The dependent variable is the one that depends on the other amount. If you get no clients, you will get 2,500. If you get one client, so the, the bottom line depends on the top one. So the dependent variable is total salary end. That's the dependent variable, total salary end. Normally in a table, they will put the dependent variable on the bottom row and the independent variable on the top row. The independent variable is number of clients. And then the starting value or amount. When he has no client, what is his starting value? It's 2,500. 13.3.4, they're asking us the constant difference between the first and the second client. How much more is he making from the first to the second client. So when they talk about a constant difference, constant means is the same. Difference, it means you subtract. So if you subtract two terms, you get the constant difference. So if you subtract 4,900 minus 3,700, you'll get the constant difference. There's that amount that every time you get a new client, 4,900 minus 3,700. We expect our answer to be 1,200 is it is. So this is our constant difference, 1,200. There's a question that they didn't ask in this question. Sometimes in this kind of question, they will ask you to do a formula or a equation of this relationship. Let me show you that now, right? The amount that you will get or the salary that you get depends on this 2,500 is the basic salary. He will get that salary whether he gets clients or not. So the 1002 is for clients. If he gets one client, the X tell, telling us how many clients. If he doesn't get any client, there will be a zero there. That will be a zero. He'll get 2005. If he gets one client, that will be 1002 times one. 
multiply by 2,500, then you'll get 3,700. So sometimes in the question paper, they ask you to formulate this equation. Okay. We're offering Zoom lessons. You can visit learnwithsat.com. Thank you for watching. This is the end of our lesson.